All right. Um, thank you, everyone, for uh, participating in our online orientation for the SAT Bootcamp hosting UC Davis this summer. Um, so, all right. Um, we try to give you like a, a systematic, intensive um, a training system to all the students who want to take the uh, the SAT later, uh, either in the summer, August, or later in, uh, in fall semester. So uh, this is the nice place that we uh, study together with no um, no distractions. So um, our common goal is just after this training, either it's like a three weeks or four weeks training, so most of the students could reach to their um, the satisfied scores. Uh, uh, of the SAT. Yeah, so um, so during this the, the boot camp, so our student will be uh, will be placed in the customized classes. So generally we will have like two classes and uh, um, and it's based on the diagnostic test they are taking in the second day. And the owner classes general based on our experience should have a like a um, have a score um, higher than uh, 1350 or 400 so that that uh, and later on like every every single week uh, we will give you like like a uh, like a evaluation for the for the student and we'll just uh, re uh, schedule the classes and also uh, they will we also uh, arrange a campus tour on the 8 um, in August 5th um, to the UC Berkeley and the uh, Stanford. So they may have a chance to meet with the uh, admission officers out there. Uh, also, during this camp, we'll give, give the student like one-on-one -on -one, uh, like help with our experienced counselor and our expert, uh, the editors, to polish their assets. All right. Um, so, this is the statistic we collected for the previous year's UC Davis SAD Bootcamp. So you will see that uh, though after the, um, the training, though most of the students have a dramatic like a score improvement, um, averagely over like 200 uh, points. All right, so here's some picture we, uh, we got from previous uh, camp. So we, uh, we study in the classroom on campus at UC Davis. So during the, uh, the, uh, the daytime, so in the, in the morning and in the afternoon, our, uh, our, um, the, uh, prof uh, the professional uh, instructor will giving the lectures in the morning and afternoon uh, sections. And uh, during the evening section, the student will study um, uh, they will study and finish their homework and uh, all the in-class in uh, assignments uh, all together. And also, um, they will have like a, uh, the study lunch in each uh, dorm. So students could do this, uh, the group study by themselves in the evening sections. And uh, of course, our, our, our teachers will uh, live with students. So any questions, that will be pretty easy to be solved. Uh, um, theirs. Okay, so here is uh, we using the class management system. We have uh, in centers, um, so uh, each student will have a tracking system with their uh, scores, and we'll report this uh, weekly to the uh, to our parents. Um, every every week, uh, you should have a, a report of their uh, study status, um, and uh, also the, the all the practice test scores will be reported to you. And also, we uh, we have like a phone or the um, electronic device uh, control. Um, uh, the, it's similar like the classes we have in centers. So in the morning and after, uh, afternoon sections, so uh, students will not allow to use their smartphone during the class. And in addition, uh, during the evening sections, 
So we also collect the phone from this, uh, the student. Uh, they will have uh, enough time for this for the sleep, and uh, they can just uh, in they will study in the envir uh, environment with no distractions. All right, uh, here are some picture we uh, we collected uh, for, from the the college life on the UC Davis campus. Uh, oh, and also I would like introduce. Dr. Trevor Chen, who is the alumni of UC Davis, and also will be the uh, program uh, directors of this camp. So, could, uh, Dr. Chen, could you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Hi, great, yeah. Um, could you introduce a little bit about the, the life on the UC Davis campus we will have uh, for this camp, please? Okay, so um, like Dr. Yu said, I graduated from UC Davis, um, UC Davis is considered a public ivy. Um, it, uh, it has one of the largest student organizations in the world. Uh, in fact, every year they have a, a, one of their activities called the Picnic Day. It is the single largest student organized event in the USA. Um, so there's a lot of um, school spirit in uh, UC uh, uh, Davis. Students are pretty... Um, Diverse is one of the safest camp in the USA. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, once Newsweek College Ranking ranks Davis 10th among the happiest schools in America. Um, so the idea is that you will go there, you will, you will happily work with each other and learn from the instructors without uh, outside distractions. Um, in an intense training camp. Um, you see, Davis obviously is known for their um, uh, environment, but it also has a lot of famous uh, programs. I mean, the, uh, biology is, uh, is one great uh, example. It has the uh, seventh largest collection of insects in, uh, in, in America. And also, uh, uh, during the first or the second day, we will also have a tour of UC uh, Davis, well, where you will learn much more about college life and uh, how to get prepared for college uh, admission. And uh, uh, besides the uh, courses and the tours that Dr. Yue has mentioned, we will also do six uh, workshops on a variety of topics, including college um, application, uh, the college uh, admission decision processes, uh, the psychology of memory, how to improve your memory, um, how to learn better, the psychology of learning, things like that. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Chen. Um, yeah, so we just, uh, as Dr. Chen already mentioned, so except the classes we offered uh, at, on the, um, in the afternoon of the weekend, we'll, um, we'll host the, uh, the seminars to discuss about the, uh, this like, uh, will be a pretty interesting topics. So about like the psychology of memory and learning and to help them to um, um, like find out the right way for the study. And also like uh, leadership building and also uh, there's, but we have like a, a group activities in the, in, in the, uh, week, uh, in the weekend afternoon. Uh, to discover, like us, uh, we'll give them the the training for the speech and debates. Yeah, uh, let's come back to this part. Okay, so uh, we are just uh, for all the campers who have the free access to the to their uh, uh, the gymnastics. So there's the pictures that we collected from the previous year. So um, they can they can use in the morning just before the breakfast of after uh, the uh, just before the, the study of each day started. So uh, students will really enjoy this, um, the workout in the gym. And here is some picture uh, we have from the, uh, the dining comments. Uh, we, uh, so this is like uh, the buffet. So for, for three meals for each of the students, uh, um, yeah, they will have a, uh, they will enjoy the, the, the food out there. And as I mentioned, uh, we will give 
uh, like we will have like two tours in UC Berkeley and Stanford's this beautiful uh, campuses, and uh, we may have the chance to meet with the uh, the major officers in this uh, the Ivy League student uh, Ivy League schools. Um, yeah, so uh, Dr. Chen, could you uh, introduce a little bit more details on that? Sure, sure. Um, the um, um, I see in the Q and A section there is a question but um i don't know how to put uh, i don't i don't know how to put text in there but all i have to say is that dr yue will definitely answer that question during his meeting um uh, during his presentation um in about so you will get your uh, you will get the answer for that question during dr yue uh, yue's uh, presentation uh, but uh, so so uh, back to the tours so in regards to the tours besides the tours at uc um Davis, we will have a um, private bus that takes us, just us, you know, the, uh, the um, students with instructor, instructors, adults, uh, chaperones. Uh, so we will, we will have our private bus to, to, uh, to leave uh, UC Davis for uh, one day. And uh, we will go to uh, UC Berkeley and uh, Stanford University. Now, um, in the past years, we were able to book um, admission um, uh, U, uh, UC Berkeley admission presentations. So, um, so we our plan is to book actual uh, UC Berkeley admission officers to give you a private presentation just for our Ivy Max um, students on what they think, how they make admission decisions. Of course, you will hear that from um, uh, uh, you'll hear about this process during your Stanford tour as well. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, also, if you have uh, any questions during the presentations, just feel free to post that in the Q&A sections. Uh, so all the questions will be answered at the end of presentations. And we all just save time for the Q&A sections. All right. Um, uh, here is what we're like uh, the, uh, the Briefly, introduction of our our um, like instru intru uh, instructor teams. Um, so yeah, I will be there. So I'll be the program directors of the whole teams, uh, and also myself as uh, I'm an instructor in physics and uh, SAT math for over four years, uh, and uh, I'm the head of the uh, this SAT curriculum uh, um, teams, um, and. Uh, Dr. Trevor Chen, uh, who is the alumni from UC Davis. So he is a person who just knows the UC Davis the most, I guess. Okay. And also like uh, Dr. Trevor will, uh, will lead a, a guide in the second days for the UC Davis, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, great, great, great. And uh, uh, Dr. Trevor, uh, yeah, he will host the PhD degrees in psychology from UC Santa Cruz. And he's our uh, seniors um, editors, helping a tons of students get their uh, dream schools in the passing, I don't know, seven years, I guess, or more. <laughs> well, okay, uh, may I say uh, one thing? Um, now, um, I will be teaching, uh, I, will, uh, I will also run a few uh, workshops. So uh, besides managing, uh, helping Yue manage this camp, I will also run a few workshops about how to uh, learn better as a student and how to improve your memory. All right, Thanks. great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and that's uh, Mr. Michael Greenberry, uh, who is the UC Berkeley's graduate. Uh, he's, al he's also the members of the college public uh, debate teams, and he has uh, spoken a lot of word from the national uh, the college debates. And uh, he's our, our senior English, uh, English uh, instructors in the Bay Area. Um, yeah, and uh, next one, the Anna Toys um, is a senior instructor from like for SAT verbal sections. And uh, she also uh, be the uh, very experienced teachers in, in the English uh, related classes. And, um, and uh, Yes, students really like her, and uh, after her classes, most of the students uh, will get a, a dramatic interest um, in the verbal sections of SAT. 
Um, and uh, Mr. Reid Maruyama, uh, who also another uh, UC Berkeley graduate in the English literatures, and uh, he also our associate director of academic affairs in uh, NorCal centers. Um, yeah, she's very experienced teaching the SAT as well. Um, and also the uh, Miss Lu Tong, uh, who is the master. Um, in U pens, uh, which is a uh, pretty like a most popular uh, uh, math teacher here in in Irvine, uh, uh, so called Irvine. So um, she will uh, teach um, our classes um, for the uh, yeah for these SAT math classes in uh, uh, in the UC Davis as well. Uh, may I say one thing? Uh, yes, please. Yue, uh, see, uh, Dr. Yue is humble, but I, I want to take a chance to tell you a little bit about Dr. Yue. Um, he, his, uh, obviously, he has a PhD. He has high-level mathematics, so um, he, is, uh, he will be the main uh, math teacher for this camp. Uh, he, his math is at the world-class level. Now, in terms of uh, English, uh, we have three or four uh, experts in English. That includes Mr. Greenberry, uh, Ms. Choi, and Ms. Maruyama. All three of them um, st study English, major English. They've been teaching English for, um, for a long time. Um, now, uh, in case for those, uh, in case there are uh, students whose uh, first language is not um, English, I am bilingual in Chinese and English, so I can serve as a translator. But 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 uh, uh, we have both world class English teachers and world class math teachers. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Yeah. All right. Uh, here the slide shows uh, daily schedules. Uh, Uh, then we're facing some uh, technical difficulty. Could you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, great, great. So it's like continue. Okay, so here are the slides um, for the schedule or um, the, the daily use in the uh, in the during the camp. I uh, hope it's clear enough. Okay, they may have some slightly changed a little bit but uh, we were just using that as our schedule. And here it is posting about a uh, three weeks uh, camps schedule. So uh, you will see that all of, we will check in in the, in Sunday of uh, July 21st, okay? So we will check out, oh, sorry, we'll check in uh, after four. Here is like, um, yes, yeah, usually we check, uh, check in for in the first day. Uh, later on the last slide, I will show you like say uh, the detail in the first check-in days. But yes, we are checking in the afternoons of the first day, which is July 21st. Okay, so for the three weeks camp, um, the camper need to check out in the morning of the last day, which is August 10th. Okay, so we need to check out by noon of the last day, August 10th. So for the four weeks campers, so you will going to check out in the last day in the, by noon as well, which is August 17th, right? So either three weeks or four weeks, all of us will check in in the same day, which is July 21st in the afternoon, roughly about 4 p.m. Right, so we'll check out in the last day by noon, which is either uh, August 10th or August 18th. Oh, sorry, 17th, my bad, 17th. Okay, so uh, the second days, which is July 22nd, so in the morning, uh, diagnostic test will be given. Okay, so uh, you 
all the campers should take the, this test. All right, so you will be placed in, in the classes based on the score of the diagnosis test we, uh, you, uh, you are going to take in the morning of second day. All right, and uh, in the afternoon, we'll have like a short over, overview of SAT and uh, the, the campus tour for UC Davis by Dr. Chang. So the, uh, you need to familiar of the campus, like uh, with, uh, where our, our classroom and all the facility, where the location of all of those. All right, so our official classes will starting from the third days in the morning. Okay, and each, uh, weekend in the afternoon, uh, in the morning, you will take another practice, uh, the practice test in the morning, and uh, the test review will give in the same day uh, in the evening sections. Okay, but the afternoon, as we mentioned, will give you uh, like a seminar to discuss about the the topics, uh, including like the the college applications or the psychologies using like of the. Uh, memory or testing, right? And maybe some other interesting or uh, um, enjoyable uh, group uh, activities uh, for the afternoon of the weekend. All right, and uh, it will be pretty similar in the second weeks. And at the beginning of the third weeks, uh, August 5th, Okay, you see that uh, here on the third row here. So the campus tour for UC, uh, UC Berkeley and Stanford University will be given in that day, which is a Monday, the third Monday, uh, August 5th. Okay, starting from the third week, um, we're just doing the practice test. I'm thinking that most of the, uh, the strategies or the knowledge you should know about SAT, either in the verbal or math sections, should be uh, has been introduced to you in the first two weeks. And starting from the third weeks, uh, we just need a, a panel of the practice and the practice. Uh, the test review we're giving um, in the in the uh, let's say in the afternoon. All right, so next section, I'll just show you the details of the first check-in days. Okay, so we're going to check in uh, roughly about 4 p.m. So in July 21st, okay. So here I leave my contact number, 408-887-3558. And uh, another, uh, my college, uh, College will help me to organize the teams, and uh, Dr. Trevor Chen will be there as well. I think Jerry is our, our, uh, the uh, VP of operators of our our company will be there to help us as well. Okay, so we will check in at the so called the Sagundo Service Center at UC Davis. Okay. Uh, later in the next slide, I will show you a detailed map of the so-called Sagundo area. Okay, so we're going to check in in the Sagundo Service Center, which is a uh, uh, separated uh, building out there. Uh, I will show you like how to find another map. Uh, please bring with your photo ID, um, either your school ID or if you uh, really have a driver license. So please bring the photo ID with you, the student photo ID. And uh, also, um, we will give you a t-shirt, your name tag, and all the information you need uh, for the housing, and uh, also the ring assignment. Okay, so um, the dorm we're going to stay is uh, also in the Segundo area, which is shows later on the next slide. Okay, and uh, after, after that, we'll meet back to the Sagundo service, uh, service Center. Um, our dinner time, okay, the first uh, dinner will be covered. So the dinner time will be 5.30 to 6.30, right? So the, the dining hall will be closed by seven. 
So we need to finish that by like early one hour, it should be sufficient for, um, for us. So 5.30 to 6.30, so we can have the dinner together at Sagundo Dining Common, uh, which I will show you the location later on the map. Okay, and after dinner, we meet, uh, we gathering together just in front of the, uh, the, uh, the dining common, and then we, uh, we walk to the classroom as a group, right, for the orientation at night. Yeah, just show you more details. Uh, and uh, uh, the, um, yeah, so our uh, CEO, uh, Mr. Shen Wei, and uh, Principal uh, Wei Qi Zhang will be there as well. Um, so we'll give you like more come orientations uh, in the evening. So this, this will be the location of the classroom for the orientation. Um, yeah, so it'll be pretty close to the, uh, to the area, um, the Sakundo area. So here is the map of Sakundo area. So I just I already marked it out. So this is the location here, just mark it a check-in. So this is the check-in place, Sakundo service centers. Okay. And also I marked out the place for the parking lot. Okay, which is the closest one, which is the parking lot uh, 25. So uh, parents, if you uh, drop up your kit there, uh, you can try to park your car in this parking lot 25 first. Okay, and then um, you just check in first without carrying your luggage. Just go to the Sagundo service center first to check in. Okay, and then we just uh, worry about the luggage later. Uh, during the weekend, since the first day will be on Sunday, so during the weekend, uh, the parking is free. This is a good news, right? Yeah. So on the first day, uh, you can just free park in that parking lot. Okay, and uh, the whole area, Sagundo area, is uh, is located on the uh, the top left corners of the whole campus of UC Davis. Okay, and there also show some direction how you uh, will be got you to that location. All right, uh, next, here's the highlight of the packing list. Um, I'm assuming that each one of you, all the campers should have a, a package, uh, including the package list and the do and don't that you need to sign. Okay, so if you don't have it, uh, just ask one from, uh, from each centers. So I highlight some of this very important in the packing list. First, um, so we know that SAT mass, they have one section, which is section four, is calculator permitted. So yeah, of course, you need to bring your calculator. Uh, it could be a, a scientific calculator or sum of graphing calculator. So no matter what, like which is uh, suitable, you are suitable risk, just bring the calculator used pretty often. And also we need a hard copy of dictionary. So uh, based on our experience, a hard copy dictionary will be pretty useful during the class. And some other things like backpack, um, alarm clock. Okay, since starting the night, Okay, so student will not uh, want to use their, um, their phone, right? So some of them may, may have the problem to uh, be wake up, right? So if you, this is, will be a problem to, to you, so pray bring an alarm clock. Okay, you can set alarm in the morning uh, because uh, be punctual to the class will be uh, very important during the camp. And also some like uh, personal notebooks. Uh, flashcard would be pretty useful to memorize uh, to memorize the vocabulary. So we're using that pretty often. So uh, bring some of flashcard. And also like pencil erasers, that's pretty, uh, that you need more often. Um, photo ID, I mentioned uh, you need that to check in. And some closing. Um, I think the weather here in UC that will be pretty hot. So um, you will need the, uh, some short, uh, like t-shirt. Um, yeah. 
and also some uh, slippers and shadows to wear in the dorm and in the bathroom. Right? And some um, also uh, clean bring some like a walking shoes, comfortable walking shoes and sock, uh, because sometimes uh, we might need work out outdoor. Uh, some others pretty general like tea spras, tea spades, cloth, and uh, you might need the hat and sunglasses and maybe uh, sunscreens, right? Uh, yeah, some some caches if you need to bring some like uh, I don't know souvenir stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So this is some highlight of the packing list. Uh, next one is uh, do and don't for the student. Okay, uh, Dr. Trevor, do you want to do that that part? Sure. Um. Now, um, can you hear me, Yue? Yeah. Okay. So, um. Before I begin, I uh, just want to say that the complete do's and don'ts uh, should be emailed to you uh, from your respective presenters. And the complete list of uh, items to bring will also be emailed to you uh, uh, as well. The, the, the um, packing list and the do's and don'ts will be emailed to you in completely. So these are just the highlights and the partial things. But uh, real quick, um, uh, in the there's no do not smoke, do not bring pets. These are the, the, the most important ones. Do not bring candles. Um, do, do not bring any uh, alcohol or um, eat uncooked food. Now, these are UC uh, Davis rules. And um, if there's any problem or uh, issue, there will be um, adults and um, throughout this, uh, uh, this camp, you, uh, please talk to us. Um, if you are allergic to certain food, let us know as well. And uh, make sure you uh, 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 put the medical insurance uh, information on the do's and don'ts. Because once you receive the daily do's and don'ts list, uh, the complete list, uh, from your center, please uh, sign in, in the end at, um, at the bottom of that list and there will be a place where you can put in your medical insurance company and the uh, policy. And that's just for safety purposes. Now, um, Davis is a very safe place and uh, you know, knows uh, there has never been any serious um, issues uh, doing our caps, but you know, it, uh, 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 you want to fill, fill out the medical information just in case right um uh if we have that we can if not if anything ever happens we can call the uh, ambulance the ambulance will uh, arrive there in less than three minutes but uh if you don't have that medical insurance information uh the rule is that you will not be able to get on the uh, ambulance uh, unless you have that information so if you have that information then, then we will collect them so if there's anything that happens We'll just hand over to the medical staff members, and you will be in, in hospital in um, no time. So, um, yeah, and uh, I will just uh, wait for the Q's and A's section in the end. If you have any questions, thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Chang. Uh, I think is pretty much this. Uh, that's it for for. Um, uh, I'm going to cover for this orientations, um, and uh, thank you everyone for your attention. So now we just opened our Q and A sections. Um, oh, okay. If you have any questions, please uh, post it in that sections. I'm just uh, glad to help to answer. Well, can I take one minute to say one last thing, just real quick to uh, encourage the. Um, Students. Now, um, uh, research has shown that forgetting is not necessarily due to time, it's due to uh, uh, interference. One of the main reasons why we have a, a camp uh, like this is for um, continuous intensive uh, training. Now, there's a reason why many athletes go to um, summer sporting camps. They learn from the best in a cohesive um, uh, environment. Well, this is sort of training for your mind. Um, in a lot of the other outside uh, courses, you would take a class and then you would go home and then you would do other things. So then that may interfere with your memory. Uh, but if 
if uh, a group of like-minded uh, students live together, learn about college life, and learn together, then uh, that way uh, research shows that there will be less memory uh, interference. You'll be more, much more focused, you will, uh, hopefully, and you will learn better and end up with a higher uh, score. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Yeah, great. Um, I have a question here. Is it, can you set out the exact address of Sagundo Service Centers? Um, all right, I, I just I just tried to Google it on the Google map. Just type in Sagundo Service Center. It just automatically shows you where this location is. Yeah, so it also uh, shows out the the ad uh, the address. I can also type in here. Uh, is but you can just easily just the easy way just type the name Sagundo Service Center. Uh, but the address will be this. I'm trying to type in here. Dr. Yu? Yes, please. I think there's something. <clears throat> uh, for the address, I think um, people can, I mean, we can um, Google uh, UC Davis Activities and the Recreation Center. Because the parking lot is in front of the UC Davis stream. Uh, so based on my experience, um, I always type the, um, the UC Davis stream. And uh, um, they will, it will guide us to the, the parking lot. And the, the center is just right next to the parking lot. Thank you, Jerry. Yes, uh, yeah, that's, that's true because this building is located uh, not pretty close uh, to the parking lot. You might uh, stop by the parking lot first. So, yes. So, just search for uh, activity and recreation center, which is the gym. So when you reach there, you will see the, the parking lot just in front of you. Thank you, Gary. Okay, I have another question. Say if I uh, have some serious not allergy, allergy. Okay, so please mention that clearly in the um, in the do and don't. I think yes, in in that form, and also let the uh, the center staff know that well, and uh, we will take care of that situation. Thank you. All right, um, Q&A section will still open for another five minutes. So please feel free to ask the questions. Yeah, the, the one thing that I wanted to say about the um, nut um, allergy um, uh, um, uh, is that you're right, we will uh, take care of it. Uh, the other, one other good thing to know uh, is that in the Davis um, dining hall, uh, whenever we go in there to eat, they were always filled with uh, staff members from UC um, Davis. They're all well trained. And then so uh, if there's any, if you want to be 100% uh, sure, you can just ask um, any of the, the staff members that are always stationed at the near, um, uh, at the, uh, they're always near the food stations. You can just ask them, hey, um, does this food uh, have nuts in there? And then they'll tell you that. So. And also for each couche, just in the front, they will have a, uh, they will show you like what's the in, uh, ingredients inside. So if they come 10 of nuts, they will mention it. I said, no, why to eat it? <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, um, we've been there for many, many years. I know about their food. So, you know, the, the, our staff member can help you. Their staff member uh, can help you. And we can help you too. 
So there are many, many ways to check. Oh, about the airport transfer um, service. Yeah, so since our, um, so in the first day, the check-in days, so the check-in start from 4 p.m., right? So if you are, are still like searching for um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the airplane, okay? So we, we suggest you, okay, so the landing time should be set before 2. That would be great. Okay, 2 p.m. Okay, don't do too early. Like some 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 flight is like early in the morning. That's too early. So some some um, some flight will be landed like noon to two p.m. Even three p.m. That'll be a good time. Yeah. So if you uh, and also the airport, all right. So we we could help to transfer student to uh, to the campus from the Sacramento airport. So please select the Sacramento Airport. Okay, I... Uh, I think uh, there's also a question. It says here, once you wrote that, will there be airport pickup and drop out services? Dr. Yue, do you want to answer that? Yeah, we ju I, I just said we have those. Yeah, so if it's the, um, if your air, um, if you set your airport to the Sacramento airport, so we'll try to reach you and pick you up from there. So, but, uh, so when should they leave the uh, campus on the last day? Uh, it should be the same. Yeah, it should be the same. Please select the Sacramento airport and uh, since our, um, yeah, the checkout day is uh, by noon, right? So you can set, okay, so your takeoff time uh, from the Sacramento airport um, it should be like late uh, morning or early afternoon would be a good time. Uh, let's wait for another minute. All right, so if there's no more questions, um, so please remember to turn in this do and don't uh, form before the camp gets started. So you should, uh, like you should sign the bottom and including the, the medical insurance uh, information shows there. Um, yeah, please return it back to the centers uh, before the camp start. So if you have any other uh, questions, uh, feel free to contact the, the staff in, the, in your learning centers. Okay, and thank you for your attendings. Uh,
Um, and uh, let's meet at UC Davis. Thank you, uh, Dr. Chen, and uh, Jerry's help. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.